Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean, our Realtors. Well, today I'm in the beautiful community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas, and I'm out here because in two days I've got clients coming in from out of state. Uh, they're coming here because they're following their children who've already bought a place in Bernie, and the wife loves this community, so uh, trying to help them find a house in this community. This house is built by Chessmar Homes. It is the Brody plan. If you saw my recent video, it is very similar to the Brandon plan, except for it's got an upstairs bedroom. And this also has a uh, kind of a mother-in-law suite built into it. All right, let's go take it. All right, this is a beautiful plan. I absolutely love uh, this community. Amazing amenities. Uh, five, no, eight minutes from downtown Bernie, Texas. This house is 28, 26 square feet. Might be a little bit bigger than what my clients are looking for, but this is a four bedroom uh, plan because they got the mother-in-law suite. If it didn't have that, this could be a five bedroom uh, plan. But uh, I've looked at uh, the Brody plan before, but not this far along in construction. This house is scheduled to be completed early January. So I'm not sure if that's gonna line up too well with my client's timeline, but uh, if this house is for them, they maybe will stay with their uh, kiddos for uh, two, two weeks to get this house finished up. All right, let's head on inside. Beautiful door. Like I said, they, this house is in the construction process, so it's not fully completed yet. But this is a really nice plan. Like I said, essentially the downstairs is the Brandon plan, which like I said, I just, my clients are actually closing on it today as I'm shooting this video. But really wide space for them to come in. Beautiful tall tray ceilings. You do have a bedroom right up front. Lots of light. Show the closet space real quick. Just kind of your average closet on the in the front. Glad they have the eight foot doors in here. You do have a full bath right up front with a shower. And this is what's the difference between the Brody and the Brandon. And uh, it's got the upstairs loft. I'm gonna show that right after I show the laundry room and the mud room. So you got your laundry room right up front. Your two and a half car garage. So they got the extra space, perfect if you're looking for a place to park your motorcycle or a little workbench area. Tankless water heater, plumb for water softener. Now, with the incentives that Chessmar is having right now, this house is, they're asking about uh, 626 for this house. That's because they've already, they've got the upgraded mother-in-law suite and this extra square footage that I'm showing you right now, upstairs. All right, this is the really good size game room upstairs. They got it pre-wired for speakers in the ceiling. It's got its own uh, little powder room up top. So if you're hosting poker night or something, you don't have to run downstairs. <clears throat> little game storage area. And what I call the Texas basement. So you can come in here and store all of your Christmas stuff if you wanted to, but it has access to the whole heating and air conditioning thing right up front. All right, let's head on back downstairs. After I drop all my all paper. Right. Coming downstairs again. We do have this nice office space. It's got the French doors where you can kind of close it. Nice little light fixture, but it doesn't block, take up the whole wall, so you can put whatever you want on here. Perfect spot to put a desk. And this is the mother-in-law suite on the other side I was talking about. Usually this is a hallway and that goes into two different bedrooms. But what they did is put these little French doors here so you can shut everything off. And if someone's living in here, they've got their own private bathroom, full bath, tub, shower combination. Kind of your little mini living room space right here. You can set up your TV, you have a nice closet. 
let's see what this is looking like. A pretty good sized closet in here. And they go down their own little mini hallway and have their bedroom right here as well. They're gonna be putting carpet in here with another closet. So if you've got um, older kids that want their own space or if you want your mother-in-law uh, to be kind of living in here, they definitely can and no stairs to go up, but they have their own privacy and they can just shut these doors and have really everything they want right there. But yes, you'd be sharing this beautiful kitchen too. So one of the things I do like about this plan is the lighting in here, the tall ceilings, big kitchen. But in this house, they've also built in this really nice uh, corner fireplace with the matching stone that's on the front of the house. But it still keeps you plenty of space to put your TV in it. Electrical outlet in the floor. But yeah, this really big, beautiful kitchen. Love the giant island that they have on here. This is gonna be your breakfast nook space slash formal dining room. You're gonna have GE profile appliances. There's gonna be your oven and your microwave gas cooktop and then your full uh, stainless steel sink nice view from the sink area like the backsplash that they chose plenty of uh, pantry space just like they like said the same as the brandon but this lot <clears throat> my client said they don't want to feel crowded so hope it's not going to be the biggest lot but hopefully the fact that it does have green space behind them actually this is going to be a community road so once everything is built this isn't uh, like open to everything road it's just for inside the community but uh it does have a beautiful oak tree right in there uh, i definitely like how they kind of built the wall around it instead of taking the tree out but uh there will be a wrought iron fence eventually put in right there but just gorgeous view nobody sitting right on top of you looking into your windows as you're looking into theirs but uh nice living space area like i said still work in progress So yeah, this house is on the market right now. And uh, hopefully my clients can see this and decide whether they like it or not. And hopefully it's still on the market by the time they get here in two days. There's a couple of Cheshmar homes in this community that might fit their bill. So I'm super excited about that. Um, really good size master bedroom. And then the bathroom. You got the darker tiles in here. They can have a big giant shower. Check that shower out. Love the fact they took the tile all the way up to the top. It's that real shiny tile. Mud inset. No real steps, so you can just kind of walk right on in. His and her vanity, so you got a little spot if you want to put it pull up a little bench chair or something. The other vanity the water closet and then the long uh, master closet with a shoe rack right there so yeah sound like feels like you've already watched this videos because you hopefully just watched the brand plan but this is the brody not a whole lot of difference except for they've got the mother-in-law suite and that upstairs space Really nice home. And I love the fact that it doesn't have anybody behind it. All right, that's gonna do it for a tour of the Brody plan in the community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas. This house is scheduled to be completed in early January, 2023. Oops, oh, sorry, 2024. Uh, and with incentives, you're looking right around 625. 
And of course, that's still negotiable, so uh, you can always work something out. Anyways, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. Of course, subscribe to my channel. And most importantly, share these videos with friends and family, especially if you know someone looking to move to the beautiful Texas Hill Country. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.